four deep to a taser deployment. Yeah. The fort's all the way hmm. through his knee, basically. Howdy. Uh, we just got some a dude with taser prize in his back. Then he fell a little bit. He oh. fell up. Oh my! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> was he in that car? Right there, no, right no. There. Luckily, he was okay, not in that God. car. Okay, he was in the other <laughs> car. Good. You're doing really good, Joshua. Keep up. Stay nice and still, nice and calm. Man. Keep breathing. He assigned me to ladder, but ladder isn't uh, here, so I'm just kind of chilling. Just hanging out. Yep. So the thing is, I don't think if that. Sorry to say it that harsh, but I don't think it would be an ideal combi car one, two, and three in the same apparatus. I mean, we did it once before. Yeah, wasn't it on like engine? Did, didn't somebody yeah. get injured? <laughs> no, I I, uh, I got abducted by aliens though. <laughs> Well, it was okay. And and the big joke around the station was that we were calling it uh, three chiefs one engine. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So I'm just kind of sitting here. King, did you do you are you assigned anything, or you just you just got here? Uh, I was waiting to get on the radio to get an assignment. <laughs> okay, kept going British there. <laughs> I, I, actually, I was about to say you sound like DJ right now, but hey, oh, okay. Damn. It's actually an incredible uh, British voice, I have to say. <gasps> I might be able to get on engine. There you go. So, and, and just death times two right now. That as well. Uh, ladders times one now, actually. Mm, why, Cam and you? Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't count myself. <laughs> and engine has uh, staff and Winston now. Ooh, I'm by. In a world where bad <laughs> chief kings standing by. In a world. I, I don't think there have been. Going one. Go ahead. Advise if you would like to. Command is open, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Seven four. I see how it is. Uh, all right. I see how I rate Baskins. All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, yeah, just assigned me to an apparatus that ain't even freaking here, but then King shows up. Oh, command's open! And the engine okay. was open! What is that? Um, is he well, leaving? I mean, engine is death times two because it was tripled up before. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. So basically, before we had engine and ladder tripled up. So. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Well, um. Fire radio and channel. Oh, no. I mean, if Ladder doesn't come back and pick me up in the next call drops, I might just take Goat 1 out and respond. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> they're still in the county. You're on Medic, aren't you? Miss, I wear my gloves at the station. <laughs> I'll be right back. And back to glasses. <laughs> I got a spider on your shoot! You got a spider on your shoot! I mean, if a call drops, I'm just I'm just hopping shotgun with King at this point. <laughs> uh, where is everyone? Uh, Civic's roaming. Checks. Yeah. Uh, engine on the hydrant check and ladder Fire medic one are twenty fifty nine on a uh, person down. Hmm. Ooh. And that's something for us to go to. This video is sponsored by Sonarin Software. Sonarin servers offer reliable VPS, game, and dedicated server hosting for your community. They're also officially partnered with GTA Police Mods to offer free 5PD installation. Sonarin CAD is the most advanced, customizable, and heavily integrated dispatching software for your RP community. We use it at SAF. They have desktop and mobile apps for every platform and offer a dozen in-game integration plugins. Sonarin CMS is the one-stop shop for managing your community's custom applications, raw Clusters, timesheets, and more. Use code OCEAN for 20% off your first month of any product. And learn more about Sonarin using the links in the description. Heck yeah. Attention, <laughs> fire. There's a deployment. Ah! Oh! 
Aww, good luck, guys. Five. It takes you even going? Two, I mean, four, we can five. if you want. Will be on soon. Let's go. Somewhere you can show bat one and med five are spawning. Four deep to a taser deployment. <laughs> okay, but like, what if they go into cardiac arrest? I know, right? We gotta be prepared. Ladder one, show me clear from the same back to quarters. Oh, sure! Now you go back to quarters! <laughs> no, no, this is way more fun. This is, yeah. Where's this taser prong thing again? Uh, somewhere in the county, four miles away. Okay. I don't remember. You don't remember? Okay, so we're just gonna drive around like, excuse me, sir, did yeah. you get tased recently? <laughs> Do you need prongs removed? Just, I mean, no? Okay. Never mind, my bad, wrong person. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna have to be the one to ask for directions because, you know, I'm a man and we don't ask directions, so. They're a little, uh, slow to pulling over. Yeah. So you uh you a fan of the uh the 06 uh Tahoe here? Oh yeah, for sure. Really? I, I didn't think anyone else really drove it as much as I did. I love driving it. I just I really dislike that rotator light bar. I got gotcha. you. I forget who else drives this. I think um Garland? No, not Garland. Somebody does. They then Oh, Silver. I and mean, he yeah, light bar. He doesn't like it either. Yeah. I love it. I think it looks really nice, especially at night. It does look good. I just dislike it when you have the light bar technically off or not rotating and the lights are just always on. I mean, there's a, yeah, there's like a separate switch you have to yeah. press, but, you know, can't be bothered, huh, King? <laughs> no, that's way too much work. <laughs> Did we really beat the medic? They probably took a different route. You know, I'm actually like doing somewhat of a speed limit at the moment, okay? I don't know how they're not behind I us. know, right? Yeah. At this point, why, do you, why even drive with lights on for granted that? It's like... Because it's you, fun. I guess, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can go faster if you want. The pedal goes pretty far down. No, it's all right. <laughs> Oh, I know. Uh, that one time Campbell got shot on the highway and I got this thing up to... I think I got up to 105. That was the fastest oh I could get goodness. it to go. Yeah. Downhill, I got it to 120. <laughs> no cop, no stop. Yeah, although it would be really ironic if we ran into your... Was it your sister? Your trooper? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just does a traffic stop on you and says, What are you doing? That would be bad. Especially if she saw you from the side, because there's no lights on the side of this thing. <laughs> yeah. She would, too, if you had a chance. I've met her. She's uh, very intimidating. <laughs> she, but she's got, like, a smile all the time. So, like, the <laughs> smile plus the sunglasses. It's just, like... <laughs> I, I, she's on scenes that, like, I, that I've been on. And I'm just like, is she gonna murder somebody? Like, she's, I, she's harmless. Truly. I'll tell you, you said that. <laughs> oh, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if she's harmless, there's no harm, right? I mean, you're uh, fine. You know. <laughs> Surely you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Cavalry. I mean, that's pretty unethical. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, we just got some a dude with taser prongs in his back. Then he fell a little bit. He oh. fell. Off. Oh my. God. <laughs> <Okay>. Yo. <clears throat> was he in that car? Right no, no. Up. Luckily, he was okay, not in that God. car. Okay, he was in the other car. Good. <laughs> he was in the car right above. Well, yeah. Um, he fell a little bit too. We he got tased off a ladder. So. Twice. 
everything is all right. Y'all can just park there. Okay. That's all right. We have, we have good insurance. It's fine. Yeah, just just uh, to get your what? ass out of the road, you'll what? be fine. What the hell? What on earth? It just. Oh happened. no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. No, 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 no. no. Seriously, what had happened? Um, let, let's just say you uh, you relocated another vehicle uh, I, I, for I'm your spark and spot. I did not see a single vehicle right now. I, I'm so sorry. It's fine. No, you're fine. Let me just get the ass this thing out of the road. Give me a second. I did. Uh, I, uh, oh, well, maybe not. Um, there we go. Show me 1041 10A. Bat to bat one. Why is that brought a 7 move? Engine 5, station 7, please. 10 4 5. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I see. Okay, now I see. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> mm hmm. Engine 5 fire radio, show me back in quarters. Alright, let's see you got them on your uh, left side here. Do you mind if I just pull these out or do you want to count down for them? Whichever one you want to do. Okay, I'll just uh, take them out for you, alright? Alright, there you go. Okay. Um, McCall, if you wouldn't mind uh, checking him over for any other injuries. He said he did fall off of a ladder, but I got the prongs and everything taken care of. Alrighty. I didn't fall off it, they taped me off it actually. I mean, it kind of ended up the same, I guess. Yeah, but any common sense. Yes. So, hi, my name's Steve, I'm Paul Tendris Fire Rescue. What's your name? Uh, my name Jack. Hi Jack, nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah, sort of. Just gonna, just gonna make sure this uh, bumper's all right here. <laughs> ah, sorry about that. That was my realtor. <laughs> gonna looking to sell my house and uh, get a different one. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, but it's contingent on me selling that. Uh, that stupid car I won. Oh. I should have made a license plate on that thing down payment. <laughs> Ooh, an impalement. Impalement was a 5,000. Think Hudo Valley. Gonna be an impalement was a 5,000. Car stated that his leg is impaled by a forklift. The leg is bleeding. Uh, line. Uh, number one line disconnected. <laughs> we'll have LU en route momentarily. Good morning, you can show Battalion 1, Medic 5, and Engine 5 responding. Copy, show Battalion 1, Medic 5, Engine 5 responding. Nice shortcut. Battalion 1, Medic 1, let me round as well. Come for you, sir. Held by a forklift, so in order for that to happen, because forks are pretty blunt, he's yeah. probably pressed up against the wall. Engine 5 shows me out. That's not good. No. The forklift weighs more than this thing does, so... Oh, God. Impalement is one so bad. Down. Yeah, this is not going to be pretty. Got the rep on rod. Medic 5 set traffic. Got the medic 5. But hey, you get to uh, come along for the ride. Yeah, I feel like a ride along now. <laughs> so, uh, just remember, don't touch my radio, don't hit my panic button, and now I only get out of the car <laughs> when I tell you. Watch out for the cement truck. Medic one. Oh, hey! Did they call me on the radio? I don't actually know. I don't know either. But we'll see. Oh my god, I'm getting spam texted by Campbell. Six, one, two, one. So. Just to confirm, it was not attached back. Remember, med one, you were attached. The med one will be What's she spamming you about? Medic 5, battalion 1. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Be advised to attach medic 5. Remember, you can just regard my apologies. That's right.
Yeah, she just texted me. She's saying, oh, so lonely at station. Oh, so lonely. Oh, where's my partner? And now she's using all caps. Just just a ton of it. Uh oh. Okay, they said 5,000. So I'm thinking where that guy's going. Maybe. When in, when in doubt, follow the deputy. Exactly. I like the way you think. I mean, this could be blind leading the blind, so <laughs> yeah. I could be very wrong. Okay, this is a valley, like, right? To the right of us? Yeah, we're in a valley. I hope so. I don't know why you'd have a forklift up here. There's nothing up here. Yeah, I don't know either. Is he doing lifting nature? <laughs> Got this rock I gotta move. Let's bring my forklift up here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm thinking that they don't know where it is either. Right, yeah. Hmm. I mean, there's like a farm up on top of one of these hills, but yeah, he's turning it's around. It's a different postal, though. I mean, I wouldn't think the mine either, because the mine, they would say. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, we're trying to find these guys. They didn't give us a road name in 5,000 square for the postal, so I don't think they're this far, but they might be okay. down towards the river. We're gonna go look down there. Alrighty. Alrighty. I would oh. assume they're down by the river if they're not up here. Yeah. Again, why there's a forklift down by the river, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. I, I drove a forklift. And oh my oh, God, where oh did they hello from? there, oh, oh, and goodbye. Okay. Aliens, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. The ones that took me that one time an engine. Yeah, they're really out to get us today. It's, it's because of me. Code six. Oh, six. Hmm. The hell's code six? Busy. Oh. But I think it's ten six. Ten six. Yeah, code Wait, six. Wait, what? What is code six? <laughs> There's no code six. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is that like an upgrade from Code 5? Like, just goes in blunt guns blazing? Oh my god, okay. Yeah. Of course, now one line uh, disconnected, so... Oh! Well, that's good. Yeah, so I don't know where they are. And this is too far, too, so I'm hoping they're on that dirt Target road across the river. Yeah. Show car 2, 10, 7, 10, 42, with a broken heart, because I was abandoned. Have a good night. Wow. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> I mean, I thought, I thought they'd be out at the call a little bit longer. Wait, now that was for me. No, I said radio. No way. Yeah, well, I don't know. Why is everyone I saying radio it. instead of fire radio now? Engine I don't five know. from rep one. Now he's calling it a engine, engine five. five. Go ahead and pull up the driveway. You should see my Wait. vehicle. I have the forklift up by me. Where? The church? Radio rep one's on scene. Looks like I do have a forklift attached to a structure. Oh, it's gotta be Trying the to get in contact with personnel. I'll be out investigating. Yeah. Is um, this want me to ask him? We... No, no, uh, next one, next one. Okay. This one leads to nothing. Oh. It's ridiculous. Should I just call this car bat one over the radio? Car bat one. Oh, there it is. <gasps> what in the hell uh, is going on here? Uh, what is happening with that car? <laughs> oh no! That poor Crown Vic! Uh. Is, a, there's two is this a used car lot or something? I, uh, Engine 5 from Rapid 1. I could use spreaders up here. Yeah, you could use, a, you could use a couple uh, tow trucks, too. You could use, yeah. Some oh, of your hydraulic. Righty. Uh, well, we're and, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, it's in his knee. Oh, God. Yeah, it's all the way through. 
uh, so forklift all the way through. Oh, well, the forks all the way through. The forks all the way hmm. through his knee, basically, all the way through the leg. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna start packing. Do what I can. Looks but like the right here. This is up to you guys. Yeah, Debbie. Let me have a look. This. I got more gear than you do. Okay. Have we uh, gotten a tourniquet on the above knee? Not yet. I just took yeah, it. I just um, get above though, chief. Because of where the fork is. Just turn it off yeah, is no, all. Because it look, it's right in the middle of the knee, chief. Yeah, I turned it off and disconnect the line. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to. So we should be able to put a tourniquet on his yeah, back then. Right. Yeah, I was, no. Okay. We should be able to. I mean, okay. If you could get a tourniquet on his thigh. Uh, is the forklift still on or no? I have no idea. I just got here. We just turned the propane off. It should be off okay. now. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, hey, King. Yes. Sorry, what's that? Just from experience. I don't know if the cutters are going to cut through that fork no. unless we cut real close because it's that's some solid steel. Yeah. Um, Garland, can you come up here? Oh, we can detach the fork. The forks detach. That's a good call. Okay. That would be advice I could too. Yeah, but do they, Chief? Do they attach separately though, or is it just? Yeah, separately. The, each fork has a um, like a little gator clip at the top. You okay. unhook that. Oh, I see it now. And yeah, then no, you, I see it now. Uh, can yeah, one pull of you up from the... Come up here with me. Yes, ma'am. All right. If you could uh, just put your arms under his armpits, just in case uh, he passes out. But if one of you made patient contact with the patient. Um, yeah. and then yeah, if we could have. Started. If we could have, uh... Um, you might be able to sit him down on the deck. No, because he'll bend no. at the knee. Okay, Alright, gotcha. sir, I'm just gonna slide a stick you. We're just gonna secure right right below, right at the fire. It just said the bleeding, okay? Yeah. Or at least try and slow it. Uh, let me know once that's, uh, tightened on him. Yep. Alright, so you might feel a little pain here in three, two, one. <laughs> Who's the firefighter over there behind Civic? Uh, Winston. Uh, Winston. Winston. I was gonna unclip it once they got the TQ on. Awesome. So if you could just be ready to uh, undo that side of the fork, and then Chief, if you wouldn't mind, I could help you uh, hold up the fork just so it doesn't fall from where it is. Yeah, we're gonna have to. You know what? Let me find some planks or something because we gotta keep the fork where it is. Once we and I can move the forklift back. We Chief, should have chalks yeah. in there. Chief, if you wanna come here and hold him, I can go find you something. Yeah, let's get some cribbing. That'll do. Okay. Nice. So you got an IV started on him. I haven't. No, I've not started anything. So when we un grab some when we uh, when we unhook the fork, I need to get on the forklift and lift up on it. Uh, that way it detaches because the the, the fork will stay where it is, but I have to move it up. Any church on a separate dirt road towards the little shack house. Okay. Start the fluids. He's he's getting really pale. Yeah. yeah. Don't do you have blood in your truck too? Yeah, I do. Probably go grab some. Hold on. Yeah. Thomas check his pulse as well. I've got some uh carbine. Okay. So stick with him. I gotta go grab blood case. quickly. Just to hold it up. Okay. So hey, yeah, Chief, yeah. Chief, let's not move me. I gotta get blood in him. He's getting really pale. Okay. All right. So, all right. So in, uh, I've done this before with these forks. In order to detach them, you gotta get cribbing under it, and then we have to unclip it. It's just a single clip on the um, the rack, and then I have to lift the rack up on the forklift, and it, the fork will just stay where it is, and then the, I can just back up the forklift, and it'll be off. Just the one fork. Can we get that okay. talk in the mall doing, please? We're getting there, sir. Don't worry. All right, sir. Just stand, sir. I'm gonna check your pulse, okay? And King, you have to hold the clip while I back this thing up. Okay. It's like a little gator clip, basically. Gotcha. Here, what's the missing bag, quickly? Hey, sir. What's your name? Jo Joshua Cole. All right, Joshua. All right, Josh. Just so you know, I'm gonna start a little IV here in your left arm. Already been shot. Go ahead and get some O negative blood and you just get some blood all back right, in All right, we've got the fork steady at the moment if you're ready. All right, just hold that clip. I'm going to lift up on the rack and then I'll back this thing up. That's what I'm seeing. All right, his PPM's over there. All right, we're ready. Here, right. Chief, give me two seconds here before you even try and move it. I yep, get you're fine. I'm going to get start it first. It's, it, and, and I will say that the forks are going to move a little bit, so he's going to feel it. No, I know. That's why I'm saying let me get the blood started. You know? Yeah, you're good. Fire. An MPA 3052 in the uh, Grand Sonora Desert. An MPA 3052, gonna be in the Grand Sonora Desert. Uh, the car is uh, reported that a uh, female has crashed her bike while making a jump. Uh, Most gonna be unconscious. Alrighty. Hey, Deputy, can you, if ever, can you hold this? Bag right here? Five, can you yep. respond to that? Just hold it there. Coming back to 5 and 5. 
Got it. Uh, one of the medics, I'm gonna swap out with you. I'm gonna Medicine help hold assignment. that fork up in place while they back Copy. it up. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Charlie, are we out of channel? Civic. Yeah. Have you gotten him any pain medication yet? No, I haven't started anything. Oh, okay. gonna start, if I can you want to run fentanyl. his, just make sure you run his name and then we can probably give him 40 micro. Fentanyl? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Joshua, what's your last name again? King, what do you need me to do? Uh, just, uh, sit tight if uh, you want to help Steph and Ellie hold him up Cole? on top okay. there. Give you me can. Yeah. yeah, I got you. Excuse me. Hey, Sorry, the medic is my left, y'all. You can help Civic draw and I can help hold him. Yeah, no worries. Uh, you're just holding Alrighty, them on the shoulders. Yeah, just Our uh, paramedic over there is going to try and get you some pain medication so it doesn't uh, hurt as bad. But in a couple of moments, we're going to remove, remove this fork here. We're going to move the forklift back. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're going to pass on or anything, try and say something. If you can, it's fine. Those firefighters behind you are going to hold you up, okay? Yeah. Well, I'm right. just going to let you know. You're going to feel a little loopy. You're going to feel like there's just nothing there. Just may feel like you have hey, a strength of 10,000 men. Yep. Don't move for us, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll pull the pin, and if you All want, right. you can hold it I'll right hold the above. Fork. I'll just say, you know, Mr. Cole, right we started 40 micrograms of fentanyl. It's just to help with the pain. Oh, we're doing this yeah. with me, okay? Okay. Chief, it started. I'm good here from awesome. my side. Everyone good? Yes, man, we're good hey, here. Wonderful. Uh, Chief, I am ready with the, uh, the pin here, if you're ready to back up. Yep, I, I'm going to lift the boom first, and then uh, then I'll back up from there. So let me know when you get that clip up. All right, you're ready. All right, lifting. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, not. Okay, looks like yeah. it's a little stuck. Oh, all right. Um, we got we we probably have a can of lubricant in the uh, engine. Somebody can grab on it. it. Got it. Okay. If, Stay, if that doesn't work, um, assume you guys have a saw for that, right? Mm, it, the saw won't cut yeah, through this. Yeah, okay. I mean, it Too might through the clip, though, Chief, right? If it's just the clip of it. That's it's true. Fork, but. Yeah, I, I just don't want the clip to jam is the problem. Mm, yeah. yeah, fair point. So was there any other medications or just uh, that 40 microgram of fentanyl? Just the 40 mic. Okay, no I've never started now. How's the uh, I mean, it started because I got O neck blood and 250 normal. Okay. Uh, Civic, am I holding the the IV bag or the blood bag? You're holding. You're holding both times. Hey, okay, gotcha. I can grab one looks if like, you need. Uh, looks like it's rusted and kind if you of oxidized. Grab, if you want to grab that, it's together. Together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. I, I can I hold it. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it out with more that. important than me right now. Oh, yeah, we're with not. any lubricant or anything like that. Ah, oh, great. All right. Um. I mean, if we want, we could take out the, uh, the, uh, We have a salt for a reason. We can use that. I can just cut it. I'll get the settling torch up here. Yeah, Depending on how far we, the fork we're is. probably going to want to use the torch to get it off. Yeah, it's the best bet. Yeah. Uh, um, I've got the gel, too, to keep that one side cool so it doesn't heat up. Okay. Yeah, if, uh, if you have everything to do it, you're good to go. Um, okay. This is, uh, interesting. Um, oh, yeah, so I'm gonna pop these glasses on you, all right? I just gonna protect your eyes, so you get anything in your eyes. Could you possibly get in contact with SO? You seem to be searching for the PT at this time. I'm gonna be out roaming and searching as well. Alright, so... Where you've got uh, about you four LEO units, uh, searching for the patient. Hard copy. Is there any firefighters holding the fork itself? Alright, we've got a channel. Doing really well with your show, right? Mm -hmm. Doing really, Who's really well. Staying nice and calm for me. Who's the firefighter yeah. that's uh, Winston. kneeling down? Winston, Winston, I'm holding it, making sure uh, it doesn't get too hot for him. And if you can, try supporting as much as you can on that. Uh, since you got your turnout on, try supporting up on that weight as much as you can from that fork. Uh, yep. You got craving and everything under it? You got craving and everything under it? Okay, yep. cool. Awesome. Yep, just in case it drops. Just make sure it doesn't like shift or anything like that. Shaw, do you need your stretcher and everything or no? Uh, yes, if you'd like to okay. get that, please. You're doing really good, Joshua. Keep up, stay nice and still, nice and calm, right? Keep breathing. Yeah. Nice deep breaths. I'm about halfway through it. Right, we're nearly there, Joshua. You're doing really well. County 233. Thanks. 
I can't lie, this forklift probably as old as I am. <laughs> They're gonna be cutting through uh, the saying a lot, isn't lift it? fork itself. Uh, uh, to pick up free it, and you should be able to transport it right after. <laughs> Joshua, if you just want to move on, you here name. Yeah, you're good to go. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, we're right. just gonna clear We might try to help track that guy down from the accident. Yep. Alright, you have a go on enough here either. Yeah, you too. No, my, my brain's frozen as a you now. Okay, I'm not sure. Hey, shot. Hello. Stretches right to your left side. Thank you very much. Okay, you can yeah, cut yeah, through there. The, uh, stretch uh, out. Uh, we nearly there, Joshua. Yeah. Okay. Alright, sweet. Ah, Chief, Lenny, you want Please. to back it up? Hey, you got one? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I've cut up? all the way through. Sorry. You want to back it up? Right. Yeah, I wonder yeah, how he actually got. Sorry. Uh, well, one of y'all back it up. We've oh, no, 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 like, back up the forklift. Back up the forklift. Yeah. Oh, sorry, don't tell me to back up. I'm like, alright, sorry. Oh, no, 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 we just need you to back the forklift. So, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Just back it in nice and slowly, just in case there's nothing attached to it. Oh, Roger. it's... Ass up. It's stuck. Josh, don't worry. You were just gonna back the forklift up. Right. Yeah, it's stuck in the dirt. This thing shouldn't have been off-road in the first place. It's not moving. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> alright. You just have to gently we rotate him. Manage. Yeah. Is the Chief, we got a chainsaw, right? Oh, there's a log to your right. We could chuck that underneath it. I mean, if you've wheels. already cut the fork, we should be able no, to move them, right? We we don't need to move the forklift. Um, Chief, I think safe. the issue is I think the fork went through the bottom of the porch. Did it's it? Concrete, but that's interesting. Is it concrete or is it? Uh, it's concrete. Double it was, check in. Yeah, just check. Nope, we're good. Okay. Right. We can slide him onto a stretcher. Yeah. Hey, so, so you just want to slowly yes, face I just him make sure me that, and then slowly uh, lay him back onto like a structure. Yeah, I'm just still holding it down here. If, if you, you gotta, just... yeah, you gotta investigate after this. Chief, are we able to so raise it? It shouldn't be. Let's get, let us get him out and then we'll be No, it's stuck in yeah, the, the deck. let me know if he's good no, to the question. It should really no, just be stuck in the deck. Are the only one here on this app? So whenever we get him in, let's try get him so we can lay him on his side a little bit, but keep his back kind of straight with it. Yes, I'm surprised you got these. We can flatten the fork down onto the cot. So we don't I'm have to have it uh, up and down. <laughs> yeah, so I heard about that movement. movement. Okay. And then we'll secure yeah. the shit out of his knee and everything onto well, the car. So no movement. I ain't gonna lose it on mine. Alright, uh, Stephanie, if you could hold the fork once we get him ready to move paramedics, if you guys could grab him by the in the shoulder area. Hey, Chief. And then yep, yeah. I'm hey. still supporting the, the fork uh, over here. Yeah, I gotcha. Perfect. Yeah, so we're chief. gonna do a kind of. You, you, so the propane's off, right? Um, it is, yeah. How the hell did he end up doing this, though? What the yeah, hell? Probably. Yeah, um, Chief, is he looking okay right now? Like, can I ask him a few questions, or should I just wait once he gets transport? Um, we're gonna bring him to the ambulance, so you can probably on the way. Um, All right, yeah. I one question I think you should ask him is maybe who was driving the forklift? Because if he was yeah. in front of it, someone had to have been driving. It, it didn't. I mean, unless it rolled down the hill, but I doubt that. If he was the only one, my thought is that he might have left it on or something, walked away, was standing there, and then it just went into him somewhere. The question, the, question is, the question is, though, if it is in gear, how in hell does it go quick enough to go through his leg? Oh, no, it, th this thing weighs... pretty sharp, but... This thing weighs as much as engine does. That's how it would have done it. Yeah, if he wasn't paying attention, it could have easily gone through him. So. Yeah, it, 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 they're, they're built with full steel and with weights in the back to... You know, gonna be, uh, keep it from flipping over when it lifts something heavy. So that's why it's that's uh, why it's yes. even at slow right, speed, so. it can destroy things. Yeah, I'm gonna actually. He might have like a home security system, so I'll check around the house see if I can see anything. Uh, if so, I'll try to investigate those. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'll walk around right now. All right. I didn't so whenever Stephanie's actually. got all good on the wrap, then we'll get him. We'll have all our hands okay. on to get him moved. I'm good. You good, Steph? Yep, it's wrapped to hell and back. Alright, everyone ready to lift or slide and move? Everyone yep. good? Yep. Alright, we're gonna slide towards Stefanelli and move him outwards, and then we're gonna walk him to the medic, but we cannot step heavily where it makes vibration, hey, okay? Garland, I got a stretcher right here yeah, next the, to the box truck. Yeah, the strike is right here, so. Oh, okay. Then we'll get him over to that. Okay, either way. Ready on three? One, two, three, move. Yep. There we go. I'm gonna move over there. Yeah. Hey, Shaw, check bleeding on his leg, see if his leg's still bleeding. If it is, I'll get another uh, own egg bag ready. Yeah, did we give him any TXI by any chance? I gave him 40 micrograms of fentanyl. I never pushed TXI. No. Oh, okay. 
All right, when we get him laid down, let's get him moved over to the medic and get him in a clean environment so then we don't have any infections or anything started when he starts like that, okay? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's get you in the medic then, sir. Yeah. Right, nice and easy. Oh, you won't get any of my stock up here. That's a bad thing to be concerned about. Uh, this medics, helps pay my health insurance. The ambulance itself, <laughs> if you want to take a piece of split plastic, if you haven't already, just put it on the side of his leg so you're not, you know, getting the fork. And then if you want to wrap around it on top and bottom of his leg, Yep, will do. Alright. I didn't say anything about home security, so I'll just follow you guys down and ask them then. Alright, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think they're taking him in the pillbox. Yep. Uh, one y'all go there. I'm gonna have getting you in there by myself. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll just slow that dispatch now. Cool. County 233. Medic 5 from Rapid 1. That scene at 5000 is going to be code so for 106 for a bit. I'm going to question him down at pillbox. Did you find your patient uh, this happened. In, in relation to that PI accident? I'm sorry. Have you not found them yet? Alright, let me know you're ready to go, Sean. Yay! Alright. You guys be careful not hitting the Um, Medic 5, go for one more time. Yeah, I have we'll apologies. Yeah, we'll, we'll watch yeah, Did you happen to find your PI accident patient, or off. have you still not loaded? Okay, no. buddy. Da, 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 da. Oops. Medic 5A, I'm cool. out with them now. Uh, if you guys want to head over to 3052 and then desert for the bike I'm gonna make my way down to you. 3052? Yeah. Not feeling any sort of drowsiness, are you, Josh? It's rocking. I really thought we were going to time that where ambulance starts to leave and we get hit by it <laughs> across the road. Best one to fly right in. Med 1, we're going to be en route to PBMC 1 med, uh, correction, 1 male impalement will be in route for Archie 1. Go straight, there's Civic and Petrowood Polo. Can, can I say something on the radio? Okay. Sure. Are we, are we going to that other scene or now? Yes, we are. Uh, what was the postal on it? Uh, 3052. Show car bat one clear of postal 5000 and en route to 3051. 